Hey guys, it's Gunner Deathridge. Welcome back to my channel. As you know, I'm a DIY creator and I'm a fashion designer. Today I'm doing something really, really fun. I'm gonna recreate one of my grandpa's outfits from the 1970s. He has these like incredible bell bottoms and this like amazing light pink tank top. I think the whole entire family is matching, my grandma, my grandpa, and my mom. So this is gonna be really fun. I've never done anything like this before today. So like, you might see me fail, who knows? We have no idea. I also wanna say a huge thank you to Replica Services for sponsoring this video today. I'm so excited to be working with you guys. So. I just took a trip back home for the first time since the pandemic started. Unfortunately, we lost my grandmother, who like taught me how to sew and everything on Christmas this past year. So I was going to go home, like kind of go through all of her things, and I was flipping through these photos, and I found this incredible, like iconic photo of my grandparents from 1973. They're all wearing matching outfits. My grandparents and my mom. My mom's like a, a child in the photo. They're all in these like amazing like dusty pink shirts and these like white bell bottoms. My grandpa's look is everything. I love the belt. I love that he has got this like cute little tank top on. It's giving me like Freddie Mercury vibes. So I figured why not remake his outfit? I love it so much. It's definitely something I would wear. It's giving me like summer disco vibes and that is always my vibe. Before we hop into the video, let's take a moment to talk about replica surfaces. Replica surfaces are rigid, lightweight, stain-resistant photography surfaces that replicate real textures like marble, wood, cement, and so many more. They're such an incredible tool for small business owners, like photographers, bloggers, artists like myself. You can have a mobile studio anywhere you are. One thing I've learned as a small business owner is that it's hard to take a good photo. Replica surfaces help you create a mini studio anywhere that you are so that you can have instantly better, more enviable photos. The boards are lightweight, but incredibly sturdy and feel very professional quality. And the setup takes so little time. You can even mix and match these based on what type of product you're shooting and what style you'd like to achieve. You can create almost 150 different combinations by mixing and matching the surfaces. Every four to six weeks, there's a limited release that sells out within hours. You can also bundle two or more services together and get stands and free shipping. It really is more than just a surface. There are plenty of resources available, such as photography how-tos, how to amp up your photo game, a VIP Facebook community with 10,000 plus members, they also offer photography and styling education in the form of weekly YouTube videos, daily Instagram posts, and regular TikToks. Start building your collection today. Go to replicaservices.com and use my code GUNNER to get 15% off your first purchase. Before we get started, make sure that you like this video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on your notifications so that you can know when I'm going to post a video. So the first step was to go fabric shopping and I found this really great white denim. It's got a good weight to it. There's so many different denims to choose from in here, which was really exciting. I ended up getting the white denim and I also found this kind of like taupey mushroomy kind of pink color. It matches the tank top in the picture, which is really exciting. To get the right pattern, I'm actually gonna take these pants that I have. They fit okay, I just don't really wear them a lot. And I'm gonna seam rip them all the way apart, which I know sounds crazy. There are definitely easier ways of going about this, but like I wanna make sure my seam allowances are right. And I actually have to do a little bit of pattern making on the leg to turn these into a bell bottom so I just like carefully took the entire pair of pants apart and I also labeled everything as I went because as I started taking them apart I realized there were so many pieces to them okay so I just spent two and a half hours taking these pants apart they're out here on the table ignore the messy studio um, there's a lot of seams holy cow I was not expecting there to be so many of them but I wanted to take this apart I know that there are definitely easier ways of going about doing this but I wanted to see what the pattern pieces looked like. I can add in the seam allowance again and use my like wit and my know-how to like make it come together. But yeah, so I think I'm ready to like actually start like making my pattern based on all of this. I really love pattern making for some reason. It's not something that I'm like incredible at, but this is a really cool excuse to like really kind of make everything technical and like get all those measurements correct and like really kind of plan out what you want to do. After getting all my patterns made, then I'm just going to go through and cut out all my fabrics and give you guys this little ASMR moment. So it is equally as important to clean my machine. I'm just gonna use this like wash that I got at Trader Joe's. Honestly, when you're working with white, like you'll be almost done with the garment and then you'll get dirt on it and it's ruined forever. So like, let's not do that today. Let's like actually make something beautiful and like keep it white. Although I'm making pants. If I ever wear these out in public, I'm never going to be able to sit down. So whatever, it'll be great for the video. I'm sure it'll be good, like fun for a good disco night. But for right now, I'm just gonna clean this dirty machine. So denim frays like a lot, and I always have to go around all of my edges and overlock them just so I can keep it from fraying. And if you notice on the inside of your jeans, there's always some kind of overlock stitch. It just depends on what kind of jeans, whether it's surged together or they're surged individually. Okay, let's start sewing now. 
Okay, so now it's time to work on this zipper, which is like my least favorite part of pants because like, there are just like so many little moving parts there. You know that like when you go to zip your pants up, it's always like really crazy. There's like a flap within a flap and like the zipper is tucked on both sides of them. So I'm going to do this really quick. I don't think I'm gonna make this like full tutorial style, but we're gonna put a zipper in right now. So say your prayers to the fashion gods for me because I'm gonna need it. Okay, let's be real. Is there anything better than when something goes to plan, especially in sewing? So to make sure my pack pocket's gonna be in the right place, I'm just gonna kind of use this rotary wheel and like lay it over and indent it so that I can then stitch it on. I'm afraid that if I use something to mark on it because it's white, it'll never come out. Okay, so ignore that it's nighttime and it's very late, but I have got my front and my back together and ready to sew. Um, I start doing it on the inseam right here. So we're gonna match these up in the center on this and on that, pin all the way down both sides of the leg. And then I'm gonna pin down both sides. Also, we're gonna press it open flat and fucking beautiful because it's denim and it presses so nice. Let's also take a moment that I watched the entirety of The Hobbit while I was making this entire outfit. I was actually having to listen to it in my headphones sometimes so that I could actually film things and get some like asmr -y style sounds from the machine. <sighs> For some waistband. Now I'm gonna work on the belt loops and also watch a little bit more of The Hobbit. Uh, these were really hard to turn because this fabric is super stiff, but if I didn't have this tool, I don't think I could have done it. Good morning. Ooh, we're shiny today. It's hot in here, it's hot in LA. But good morning, I'm back shinier than ever and we are ready to do some work on the tank top today i finished the pants last night at like almost three in the morning and today we are going to do the tank top so let's do it so i'm using a tank top that i've already made before i actually kind of threw this tank top together very last minute so i'm just gonna kind of like space this out on the table mark all of my main things trace around the edges and then i can go over it with my ruler and like perfect it and make it exactly how i want it to be I also definitely make sure to add in my seam allowance here. I also left this a little long because I think it's really gratifying to watch it come together. Uh, but after I did this, it was then time to cut out all of my fabric and I had to make sure that my grain lines were on point so that it didn't hang super weird. So I laid it all out, put my crystals on it and then started cutting. Tank tops are like super easy to do, so I didn't film a ton of it. It's literally just two side seams and then the shoulder seams and then hemming around the edges. But I did get a little footage for you all. I don't know what I'm jamming to here either, but if there's not music or movies playing, I am a lost soul in the studio. I don't get anything done. I need some background noise in my life. Okay, for reference, here's the photo again, and here is what my finished outfit looks like. I have to tell you, I'm gonna wear this all the time. I cannot wait to go dancing in this. This is such a fun summer look. I did choose to put some cheetah print shoes with this because I thought they matched with the belt, and I didn't have any white shoes, but overall, I am so excited, and I have to tell you, my grandpa loved seeing this recreated. <laughs> 